Hi, Jesse here from Jesse Lee Woodworking, and today is a quick biology lesson on wood boring insects. Now, today I'm working on stripping a log that I cut down on my property because I'm making some more uh, posts for my uh, mortise and tenon fence, and I came across some bugs in the bark, and I thought maybe you might like to see it as well. These little creatures. Now, this creature in particular is a powder post beetle. And you can see that this is the larvae stage. And you can actually see on the end that of this little wiggly worm are little teeth. And if you look along the edges of this bark, there's actually several of them. So the powder post beetle, it has a um, adult phase and a larval phase. The larval phase is first implanted into the side of the bark. It then eats its way around the bark and you can see all of these indentations and various um, lines inside of the bark line. That is um, the powder post beetle. Now this particular um, variety, it has a very flat head and these type are the type that do not re-infest the same logs that they came out of. So I'm actually kind of lucky here. Um, and also a very good reason as to why you actually strip the bark off of logs after you cut them down, if you want to keep them in good order and dry them or use them to make other things, you really want to get this bark off because leaving this bark on allows all of these individual larvae to continue to keep growing. And then from there, they then go into the next phase, which is the boring phase. And you can see on this particular log, this is actually a powder post beetle um, that is now gone into the log and they can stay there up to a couple of years actually and when they're ready to emerge they come back out and then they continue to um, multiply and go on to the next log um, for some uh, versions but for this particular log this is black oak um, I want to try to prevent this from reoccurring uh, too much. So as part of my treatment process, once these logs have been fully stripped and ready for use, I will spray them with some borax. So if you just wanted to know a little bit about where some of these lines come from and why some of these holes um, with little sawdust uh, may pop up around your property or on logs around your property or pieces of wood, it's likely because of this little creature.